It takes a long time to design a medical building. 18 months for Akron Children's Beagley Campus. All the planning is now reality. Primary care and specialty services are now all in one building. And today is the first day for seeing patients, some of whom even had a say in designing the new facility. 27 First News Weekend anchor Julie Bursick is live in the studio with the story. Yeah, going to the doctor's office, that can be a little scary when you're a kid. So that's exactly why Akron Children's made sure things are kid friendly at the new facility. Hello, superstars. How are you? Brindley Inet is the perfect little patient. Who are these little ears? Huh? She's in for a follow up appointment after a double ear infection. That one looks good too. Yay. Tuesday is the first day Akron Children's Beagley Campus has all of its services under one roof. That includes primary care and the specialties. Services like allergies, orthopedics, and all the ologies. Nephrology, neurology, urology. It's a nice building. I like the, it's more family oriented. Everybody walks in and there's a nice group of uh, nurses. That's the exact reaction the hospital wants and planned for. Families also gave suggestions for the design. We get to design the office from how they think it would flow better. The mini ball machine in the lobby is a big hit with kids. I've seen the, the little ball thing, you know, it got him excited and, and the, the officer really made his day walking around. It was like seeing Mickey Mouse at Disney World. Art is also a big colorful part of the building too, and it's local work. We have lots of kid designed arts on our walls. 18 months of planning is now reality, and that makes one staff member extremely happy. To see the children interacting in something that I've seen in my mind for 18 months is really nice. So all of Akron Children's Services that were at the medical building on McClurg Road, they are now all at that campus on Market Street, but the NICU service is still at Saney's in Boardman. Reporting in the studio, Julie Bursick, WKBN 27 First News.